inserted the, um, uh, the gene from the mammoth into these sheep cells and then overexpressed that gene really, really highly. So all that means is that, um, that we could detect the amount of traditional um, sheep myoglobin inside the cells and we could detect over a hundred times more mammoth myoglobin in those cells themselves. So a, quite a significant portion of what you can see here in front of you today comes from mammoth. We won't eat the mammoth meatball right now. And it doesn't mean that it, you can't eat it, but because this protein is literally 4,000 years old, we haven't seen it for a very, very long time, uh, it means that we would want to put it through seriously rigorous testing like we do with any product that we want to bring to market. And for this purpose, we wanted to present it to the world faster and not necessarily bring it immediately to market. There's two reasons why we chose a mammoth meatball. So the first one is that we wanted to we wanted to get people talking. We wanted attention to something that is different from the meat that we eat now. Because with new technology, it means that the food that we can have doesn't have to replicate what we've had before. It can be more exciting. It can have better flavor profiles, more nutri better nutrition profiles. And so we wanted to create something that was totally different from anything you get now. The second reason is that the mammoth has traditionally been a symbol of loss. Mammoths we know now were wiped out because of climate change and we wanted to draw attention to a different future, something more exciting, something where we can eat our way out of extinction. 